The story behind the Dukes of Sutherland is a captivating journey through centuries of history, aristocracy, and the dramatic evolution of a prominent Scottish noble family. With roots that extend deep into the annals of Scottish and British history, the Dukes of Sutherland have played a pivotal role in shaping the destiny of their homeland and the broader political and social landscape. From their rise to power during the medieval era to their involvement in controversial events like the Highland Clearances, this tale is not only a chronicle of aristocratic privilege, but also a reflection of the broader historical forces that have shaped the United Kingdom. The title of Duke of Sutherland holds a distinguished place in the peerage of the United Kingdom, having been established by King William IV in 1833, primarily for George Lucan Gore, who was the second Marquis of Stafford at the time. The prominence of the Dukes of Sutherland and British aristocracy can be traced back to a series of strategic marriages within the Lucan Gore family, which ultimately led them to become one of the wealthiest land-owning families in the entire United Kingdom. This accumulation of wealth and titles continued for generations within the family. The title remained within the Lucengore family grasp until 1963, following the passage of the fifth Duke of Sutherland. At this point, it transitioned to the Egerton family, specifically the fifth Earl of Ellesmere. The Dukes of Sutherland have held various subsidiary titles throughout their history. These titles include Marquis of Stafford, established in 1786, Earl Gore from 1746, Earl of Ellesmere, created in 1846, Viscount Trenton, also from 1746, Viscount Brackley, established in 1846, and Baron Gore, dating back to 1703. The Marquisate of Stafford, the Earldom of Gore, and the Viscountcy of Trenton belong to the Peerage of Great Britain, while the Dukedom, the Earldom of Ellesmere, and the Viscountcy of Brackley are part of the Peerage of the United Kingdom. The Barony of Gore is within the Peerage of England. Furthermore, the Duke also holds the hereditary title of Baronet of Sittenham in the County of York, which was established in the Baronet Age of England in 1620. Between 1839 and 1963, the Dukes of Sutherland also held the titles of Lord Stratnever and Earl of Sutherland, both within the Peerage of Scotland. These Scottish titles entered the family's possession through the marriage of the first Duke to Elizabeth Sutherland, who was the 19th Countess of Sutherland. This intricate tapestry of titles and noble connections has not only shaped the Dukes of Sutherland's history, but has also contributed significantly to the rich tapestry of British peerage. The lineage leading to the Dukes of Sutherland began with Thomas Gore, who was granted the title of Baronet by King James I of England in 1620. This baronetcy, known as the Baronet Age of England, was passed down to his son, Thomas, the second baronet. The second baronet, in turn, married Frances, the daughter of John Lucan. Their grandson, William, who became the fourth baronet after his elder brother's passing, adopted the additional surname of Lucan. William's marriage to Lady Jane, the daughter of John Granville, 1st Earl of Bath, and sister to Grace Carteret, 1st Countess Granville, further solidified the family's aristocratic connections. The title of Baron Gore of Sittenham in the County of York was bestowed upon William and Jane's son, John, who became the 5th Baronet. In 1706, he was elevated to the Peerage of England. His son, the second baron, held the position of Lord Privy Seal three times and received two additional titles in 1746, becoming Viscount Trenton and Earl Gore. Both of these titles were granted within the peerage of Great Britain. The second Earl, Granville, was a prominent figure in politics and was honored with the title of Marquis of Stafford in 1786, also in the peerage of Great Britain. Granville's marriage to Lady Louisa Egerton, the daughter of Scroop Egerton, 1st Duke of Bridgewater, further enriched the family standing. Granville's eldest son from his first marriage, George, succeeded him. George's marriage to Elizabeth Sutherland, who was the 19th Countess of Sutherland, significantly expanded his wealth and influence. In 1803, he inherited the vast estates of his maternal uncle, Francis Egerton, 3rd Duke of Bridgewater. George's support for the Reform Act of 1832 earned him the title of Duke of Sutherland in 1833, an honor granted within the peerage of the United Kingdom. This marked the inception of the prestigious Dukes of Sutherland as we know them today. Francis Ronald Egerton, who later became known as the 7th Duke of Sutherland, was born in February 18, 1940. He hails from the prestigious Egerton family, a prominent British aristocratic lineage. His family heritage is marked by notable ancestors. 
Francis Ronald Egerton received his education at Eton, a renowned British independent school. Later, he attended the Royal Agricultural College of Cirencester, Gloucestershire. This educational background suggests an interest in agriculture, a field often pursued by aristocrats with extensive estates. On July 21, 2000, Francis Ronald Edgerton assumed the titles of the 7th Duke of Sutherland and the 6th Earl of Ellesmere, following the passing of his first cousin once removed. His wealth is primarily tied to an extensive art collection amassed by his ancestor, Francis Edgerton, the 3rd Duke of Bridgewater. This remarkable collection has been passed down through the Ellesmere line of the family. One notable event that garnered attention was the sale of Titian's painting, Diana and Aktian, in 2008. The masterpiece was sold to both the National Gallery of Scotland and the National Gallery in London for a substantial amount of £50 million. In terms of financial standing, he was ranked 107th in the Sunday Times Rich List of 2019. This was with an estimated wealth of about £480 million. This included a combination of valuable art and extensive land holdings, noticeably Mertoon House and Stretchworth House. His net worth was further estimated to have grown to about £585 million by the 2020 edition of the list. The Dukes of Sutherland have historically been associated with significant wealth and vast land holdings, particularly in Scotland. Their wealth has been primarily derived from several sources. One of the primary sources of wealth for the Dukes of Sutherland has been their extensive land holdings. These holdings often included large estates, agricultural land, forests, and sometimes mineral resources. Income from tenant farmers and rents from land usage contributed to their wealth. Many aristocratic families, including the Dukes of Sutherland, have historically engaged in agricultural activities on their estates. These activities involved the cultivation of crops, livestock farming, and forestry, generating income and resources. Wealthy aristocrats typically invest their assets in various ways, including stocks, bonds, and other financial instruments. These investments can provide additional income and opportunities for wealth growth. In recent years, many aristocrats with extensive estates have adapted to changing economic and societal dynamics. Some of the key modern activities and roles they often engage in include but are not limited to some of the following. Today, dukes and other aristocrats often focus on sustainable land management practices. They may invest in modern farming techniques, conservation efforts, and responsible land development to ensure the long-term viability of their estates. Heritage preservation and environmental conservation have become priorities for many aristocrats. They may work to protect historic buildings, landscapes, and natural habitats on their properties. Conservation efforts can involve collaboration with environmental organizations and government agencies. Some aristocratic families open parts of their estates to the public for tourism and recreation. Historic houses, gardens, and scenic landscapes can attract visitors, generating revenue while also contributing to local economies. Many aristocrats are involved in philanthropic activities, supporting charitable causes and community development projects in the regions where their estates are located. This engagement helps strengthen ties between the aristocracy and the local communities. Some aristocrats diversify their income sources by venturing into modern business enterprises. This may include hospitality and hospitality-related services, such as luxury accommodations, restaurants, and event hosting. The specific activities and roles of aristocrats, including the Dukes of Sutherland, can vary widely based on individual circumstances, interests, and priorities. Their financial situations may change over time due to factors such as economic conditions, changes in land use, and inheritance. What do you think about all of this? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.